Right, now we're using our calipers again, you can measure the head and you can see it makes one, two, three. The body is three head lengths long and conveniently it's also the same length as the legs. Right, now the body is about one and a half head lengths deep, so that's what I've drawn. Three head lengths and three half head lengths high, as you can see. Right, now I'm looking at the photo all the time, but what I'm doing is just using a series of simple triangles and oblongs to create the legs, remembering that they're about the same length as the head is front to back. That key measure again, dead easy. Right, still using the photo, what I'm now doing is putting a bit more realism in the image, using the blocks as a basis, but changing it as a need to. Now I wouldn't normally ink this image in before I traced it down, but this helps you see what the final image will look like. Right, the image is on the pad and I'm going in with an overall wash of pale burnt umber but blended with clean water to give a nice transition into the body. And you can see I've put some ultramarine in to give a nice interesting shadow effect under the belly. Now this is a fun bit because all I'm really doing is just touching in with darker mixes of burnt umber and ultramarine to create light and shade. And you see how stabbing in the mane behind the uh, head gives that sort of furry effect. And it really starts to bring the beast to life. And I'm just touching around the eye socket. You can see it's like a letter C facing downwards over the eye. Just with the same colours but slightly darker. And just dabbing in bits and pieces around the nose and the front of the head. Right, I've added a little bit of paint. It's really just a single colour almost. Some, something like this, sort of a pale version of the, the back of this uh, bison here. You can see how literally these are just blobs of colour. These are perhaps slightly more distinguishable as bison, but if you took that away, you probably wouldn't know what these were if you asked people to describe what they saw. As soon as you put that in context immediately in people's minds, it becomes more of the same. 